Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly add Steam, or sorry, uh, add Minecraft to Steam uh, in such a way that you can track your hours and the overlay will even work inside of the game. I'm on Windows 7 64-bit. Um, most people who haven't been able to get this to work have been on 64-bit, so I guess I've got the correct uh, solution here. I found the solution in the Minecraft forum, somewhat buried under one of the many why isn't Minecraft on Steam posts and things like that. Uh, so I figured I'd make a video just showing you to you uh, how to get this set up nice and easily. Um, specifically for Windows 64-bit, this this will also work on 32-bit, uh, possibly a little easier. You, you might actually be able to just uh, add the EXE directly to Steam. But anyway, uh, so let's, I just deleted my shortcut here in Steam. So uh, how you add it, you're going to start out with well, Steam, and you just hit add a game, and you need the Minecraft EXE file downloaded somewhere, easy to remember, you know, C Minecraft or on your desktop, uh, but you want to do add a non-Steam game, and it's not going to show up in here at first because this just uh, scans installed programs, which since Minecraft just kind of launches from an EXE, it's not going to show up, uh, but you want to browse actually uh, to Actually, this doesn't even matter what you choose here because we have to replace it later anyway. But just, for now, just go ahead and browse to wherever you have your Minecraft EXE file. Um, and this will not work at first. Mine's on my desktop. I'm just going to hit open and do add selected program. That'll at least give it the right name and uh, some other stuff. Okay, so now it's added incorrectly. Now what we need to do is right click on this shortcut, go to properties. And you see right now it's launching directly to this exe file, and the problem with this is that exe file essentially closes and tells Java to launch uh, the actual Minecraft game. Um, so the way you can kind of get around it is to launch Java and tell it to open the, EX the exe, and that way as long as the Java exe is running to begin with, then that's, as far as I can tell, that's essentially what's hosting the, uh, the Steam overlay and you know, it sort of keeps the Steam aspect running by doing it this way. But anyway, this is what you need to type. Um, you basically need to... Um, actually, I might be able to... Go to uh, C program files x86 if you're on 64-bit. If you're on 32-bit, uh, uh, it'll just be program files. And you do have to have the 32-bit Java installed. You can have it in addition to the 64-bit Java, but you have to have the 32-bit one installed for this to work. Uh, and then you just want to use Java. To, I'm sorry, Java w.exe. Open, and you can see it goes ahead and puts in the first part there. And then all you need to do is type in dash jar, and then quotes and the path to your Minecraft.exe file. So in my case, it is this. And I can see by browsing to it rather than typing this all in, I've got a annoying icon now. Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, copy and paste all of this. Control A and Control C to select everything and then close it. Okay, so we're going to change browse back to uh, C users, my name, desktop. This is just where I have happen to have Minecraft installed. Choose that. And now I'm going to replace this with what I just copied. Okay, so essentially, you you want to start with the Minecraft EXE so that you get the, the icon and the name and everything, and the correct start in folder, which I don't actually think matters for this particular game, but then you just need to make sure it's pointing to the Java W.exe, and then dash jar, and then the path to your actual Minecraft EXE file. So, that should in theory be it. So we're going to hit close and test it. Okay. Launched here, go ahead and log in. 1.0 just came out today, so I was, uh, yep, and you can see already we've got some uh, Steam community stuff popping up here, and if we hit Shift Tab, you do have the overlay. Um, it seems to kind of have some weird graphical issues. The, the battery icon was showing up there for just a sec, even though I'm not on a computer with a battery. Um, some weird things like that, and I've read that sometimes when you go in here, yeah, the, the keys all still work, so you kind of have to, well, they sort of work. I just pushed uh, Shift-Tab, but then I just hit W while I'm in this menu, and I'm actually moving around in the game, so that's not ideal. <laughs> so, uh, so you will kind of have to, uh, and actually it appears to have completely broken my game. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. 
because I had to click around a little bit to get it to capture my mouse again. So the game still doesn't play perfectly with the Steam overlay, but it's uh, pretty good. As long as you pause the game and then go uh, into this, then you should be good. But yeah, that's uh, that's how you get Minecraft working in Steam. It'll go ahead and start tracking your, your hours played, and it'll notify people whenever you're playing Minecraft. So that's good. That's all I got. Bye.